Bowser 101 came out in 2008, and I've been playing it since 2013. That's 11 years now, but I haven't actually touched the game since 2018. And I gotta give the game this. Their schools are either cracked as hell, or they're wrecked. It became obvious that I played this game when I made the reference in my Luigi's Mansion video. Roll the clip! I mean, look at this dude! Don't tell me he doesn't look like the gosh darn vampire spell from Wizard 101, because he does! Yeah, a lot of people DM'd me after that video and asked me if I played Wizard 101. So, I decided today I would answer the question, yes I have, and I also decided to rank the main Wizard 101 classes. Fire, Ice, Storm, Life, Death, Myth, and Balance. Let's go- wait, I mean, uh, let's cast a spell and get into it. Hopefully it won't fizzle out. Starting off on the worst of the list. Y'all probably saw this coming. Balance. It's no shocker that balance is at the bottom of the list because balance is... Well, excuse the pun. But it's a balance of all of the other schools. The pros of balance is that you're going to be one hell of a resource in battles, especially with that damn balance blade spell, feints, traps, and all that other support stuff. Balance is super good at supporting the main attackers whilst they prepare for their attacks. It is most definitely a teamwork school, and if you have a team, you're all good. Now, that does mean that balance has some cons. Well, first off, the balance school doesn't even have a prism of its own, and if you want to kill a balance enemy, you're going to have to pick another school to focus your attack with, and your balance spells won't do shit to the balance elites and bosses, especially in Croctopia. The taking isn't as good as ice wizards, and their healing can't hold a damn candle compared to life wizards. Like I said before, balance is a teamwork school, and it's going to be hell if you ride solo. Plus, balance is also pretty universal, which takes the uniqueness away. Overall, it wouldn't be my first choice of schools. Next up is the School of Fire. Mmm, I know there will be a lot of people who don't agree with me here in the comments, but when I'm finding an enemy, I'm thinking, Alright, let's kill this dude as quick as possible. Not, I'm gonna take three tilts of turns to kill this dude because I want to be flashy. But here are the pros of fire. The spell animations are fucking amazing to look at, and I love them. It's one of the coolest schools. They take out shields with their slow burn effects and over time do damage, making it very difficult for enemies to stay shielded. Fire wizards can also cast dots and annihilate the shield and then finish off the opponent with a powerful attack. Cons. Fire is no tank school. Healing is next to impossible for these guys, so you better kill fast or take shields with you. I also said earlier that I would like to kill the enemy as quickly as possible, not twiddle my thumbs and wait three rounds for my pips to gather up so I can cast a big spell. Coming in fifth place on the list is the Ice School. Ice has become pretty damn popular in recent years due to PvP, and for me, I still hate it. We'll get to why in a bit. Pros of this school. These dudes can tank like nobody's damn business. They're easily some of the best tankers in the game. I am sure everyone groans whenever enemies cast tower shields right before you strike. And, well, with ice, you can do that. This is one of the reasons I despise ice with a passion. We're going on to the cons here, by the way. You don't get your ice blade until level 38. 38! In every other school, you get your blades really early. Hell, fire school gets their blade at level 2! After talking to Ambrose in Wizard City, this makes it really hard for Ice Wizards to deal a lot of damage early in the game. Fourth place is going to be handed over to the School of Myth. You may think I hate Myth because of its place on the list, but no, I love this school. It's in my top three favorite schools. On to the pros. Holy quail cleanses are so helpful! Shields and weaknesses go into effect on these wizards, so you better watch out. They can even stun their opponents, uh, except if the opponent is too powerful. And they are great hitters and tankers if used correctly. Earthquake puts the fear of your life in your hands with all the blades and traps ready to hit. Cons. Minions are so outdated and only really useful in Wizard City. Anything else? Nah. Nah, they are not useful. Maybe if you're in a pinch, but nothing other than that. They have pretty low health in their defenses, 
almost non-existent. Their AoEs are not great, and most people find the mystical pretty underwhelming. Obviously I didn't, though. I still love this school. Third place is going to the storm school. Yeah, I was part of a damn war in the comment section. I get it. Storm is one of the most popular schools in the game. Hell, my brother chose Storm when we first played. Pros of Storm. It can easily destroy enemies in a matter of turns. It's a fast and very powerful hitting school. Their spells are low to average pips, and these dudes can whip out spell after spell after spell after spell after spell to really quickly deal with enemies. Now, the biggest con of the Storm School, they fizzle a lot. The Storm School might be the strongest school, but that doesn't mean it's the best. Storm has the worst accuracy in the entire game with only 70 to 75% at the base. One thing that Storm School wishes that had was Isis tanking because this school cannot tank for crap. You better hit fast and pray your spells don't fizzle or you're going to be the defeated one. Other than that, it's not the worst school out there, but it sure as hell not the best. Coming in second on the list is the School of Life. Life was actually the first school I chose on Wizard 101, so call me bias. But this school is also in my top three. Pros of Life. The Life School has always been looked down upon, but it's a very good solo slash PvP school. If you're ever up against a life wizard, know that you'll be there for a bit, because these dudes have the biggest and best healing spells in the entire game. Uh, hence the name. These wizards tend to draw out fights for a long time with healing sprees, which will make these dudes number one on the annoying list for most opposing enemies. They also can be pretty powerful if done correctly. Cons. This school is not a hard-hitting school. It's arguably worse than ice, with the best hard-hitting spell being Centaur, which you don't get until level 38. Again, with the Ice Blade effect. You might want to craft some AoEs, or else you're stuck with Centaur and Forest Lord, which are 6 and 7 pip spells. Yikes. in first place is the Death School. For a school that was ripped out of Wizard City, it's pretty damn crazy how freaking powerful this school is. All the Wizard 101 fans watching knew this one was coming. If you want to go solo on the game, choose the Death School. Pros. Death is such a strong hitter. They do damage and heal themselves in the process with spells such as Vampire and Wraith, which are steel spells. And they are the perfect mix of tax and tanking spells. The only cons I can think of for this school is the hassle to get the spells. The same thing with the balance school, they also have a pretty big hassle. And they're really a solo school. It's hard to fit a death wizard on a team. Their best habitat is when they hit and steal HP for themselves. Overall, it's the best solo school, and I think it's amazing in its own right. Wizard fans, I deeply apologize for this video being so short. Basically, I need a shorter upload because next week I'm going to be working on another short upload and then the week after that we get a very long upload. Anyway, I have to give my huge thanks for It's Just KFC slash KFC slash Serene Dar for making this beautiful thumbnail. Like, look at this gorgeous art! Like, nah, it's so pretty! She did absolutely amazing, and I highly recommend you guys go check her out. Her links are in the pinned comment. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and by the way, be sure to keep an eye out for YouTube Shorts coming next week. Yes, I'm going to be uploading voice acting shorts starting next week on Tuesday or May 21st. Anyway, I'll see you guys then, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye